all of us have prayer responsibilities that no one can take from you nobody can by any means make you not do it except you choose not to while we are instructed to pray for one another the bible says god speaking to the apostle paul he says to all pray without ceasing that's not just for pastors and big men of god or apostles it's for everyone the standard practice every child of god must pray not just preachers not even our prayer mercenaries people that people pay to pray for them it's not to them alone it says pray without ceasing it speaks to every one of us every human being and so you become guilty if you don't pray we ought to say to the lord like the apostles and the disciples said teach us to pray not just to pray but to pray until something happens pray until fruitfulness pray until increase pray until healing comes because a benevolent heart of God says pray. God says so. The heart of love from where all blessings flow tells us to pray. The one who is going to answer the prayer says to pray. This is because the channel of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is where all blessings come from. The God that is ready, in far more ready to bless than we are ready to receive. The same heart seeks intimacy. He seeks intimacy and that's why it says you pray. Let me say this to you quickly. Prayer is the only way you actually get intimate with God. That is where you can engage with him. That's one reason he says to pray. Because he wants fruitfulness for you. And fruitfulness is a result of intimacy. If a man, a woman does not know a man, she cannot be fruitful. If you and I don't get intimate with God, we can't be fruitful. We can have a pseudo possibility of fruitfulness. We can have a little bit of things here and there, but if you really want the full dose of his power his grace his love this love we speak about if you really want to experience it we need to pray 